Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about creating motion effect rows in the Lightorama sequencer. Motion effect rows can be created for pixel-based props or groups of fixtures. Most commonly, they are used so that you can create effects on smart RGB props. Motion effect rows will have a triangle symbol on their left side in the grid view. You must have a pro license level of Lightorama to create motion effect rows in your sequence. When you create a new musical sequence or animation, you can set the default number of motion effect rows for pixel props, but you can always add more at a later time. There are two places that motion effect rows can be created, and for different reasons. When building a prop in your preview, you have the option to add motion effect rows on the left side of your prop definition window or along the top row when creating a group. These motion effect rows will be part of your props as a default when you create a new sequence. You can also add motion effect rows from the sequencer grid by right-clicking and selecting Add or Modify Motion Effect Rows. The motion effect rows you add here are unique per sequence. They will not automatically transfer back to your default motion effect rows in your preview. To copy motion effect rows to your default, highlight the rows you want to transfer, hit the copy button, then go to the respective preview prop or group, and click paste. The rows will appear as part of the prop the next time you create a new sequence. You can also choose to always create motion effect rows in your preview window, then bring them down to your grid view. Beginning in version 5.5.0, you have the option to merge defaults in your grid configuration, which will add and update rows from your preview defaults. You can create motion effect rows in one of four configurations. The first is to create a motion effect row that covers the entire prop. To create this kind of row, simply click Add. The name will default as effects and then a number, and your subsection will be set to none. It may be helpful to rename your motion effect row if you plan to create more than one row per prop. As of Lightorama version 5.5.0, the maximum number of motion effect rows per prop or group is 100. You can also create three kinds of subsections for your rows. If you click Subdivide, you can divide your prop into evenly spaced rows or columns. For example, if we subdivide this megatree into 16 columns, We've now added the ability to sequence on a strand level, since this tree has 16 strands of lights. The second option is to create rectangles. By changing the subsection dropdown to rectangle, you'll gain the ability to edit these four fields. Type in the corresponding number of pixels for each question to create your subsection. The squares that appear in white are the area your motion effect will cover when placed. Squares that are black will not show the applied effect. Lastly, you can create custom sections for your rows. Use the pencil and eraser tool to draw specific subsections on your prop. Move your entire selection with this tool, or start your drawing over by clicking X. Once you've created all of your motion effect rows, you can rearrange them by using these green arrows. To delete a motion effect row, right-click in the grid view and select Delete Motion Effect Row. You can also delete rows in bulk by navigating to Sequence, then Delete Grid Rows. If you delete motion effect rows in your grid within a specific sequence, these rows will not be removed from the default motion effect rows in your preview editor. Don't forget to set your network preferences before you play your sequence on actual lights. Motion effect rows will only output effects if your props are connected to an enhanced network. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.